uh, I'm I'm Anita Cameron, um, and I'm sorry, I'm just a little a little disconcerted because I I can't see you, and part of that <laughs> is because I have visual, you know, I'm almost totally blind, <laughs> but it's a little hard for me to hear you too. But okay, so I'll just go on uh, 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 the fact that um, that you all can hear me. So. Um, so I hmm, kind of, uh, well, I've been, okay, so I'm Anita. I live in Rochester, New York. Um, I'm a member of ADAPT. I've been a member of ADAPT for 31 years. Um, I started out in Chicago, um, Illinois. That was my first uh, chapter. And um, then I moved to Colorado Springs and then uh, Denver. Colorado, where I worked directly with Wade Blank, who's one of the founders, um, and I got to meet most of the original ADAPT folks, um, including um, the Gang of 19, who um, lay in the street for two days, uh, blocking buses um, to protest the, uh, the lack of uh, wheelchair lifts on buses, and that was actually um, although that occurred in 1978, that was what I call our shot hurt around the world. And after that action, uh, people began to contact us, people from around the country began contacting us, asking us, well, how can we, how can we do this? You know, how do we do this? Of course, at the time in 1978, I was um, busy turning 13. So I was back home in Chicago busy being a kid and not really, you know, knowing about what happened. Uh, but I, I learned about ADAPT um, in 1986 uh, and I joined and I did local actions um, from 1986 um, until 1988 when I joined, uh, when I attended my first national action, which was in Washington, D.C. Actually, ADAPT got its start in 1983 in Denver. Uh, and so uh, it was uh, an honor for me to be able to uh, live in Denver and, and work uh, with Wade and uh, Blank and, and Molly and Larry Ruiz and, and some of the, the original folks. Uh, so ADAPT is uh, obviously we're grassroots disability rights um, group. We have chapters in 23 states and we have emerging chapters coming through particularly um, in light of our, our summer of ADAPT, if you will. Uh, ADAPT is, we, we are um, a nonviolent, um, we do direct action. We do uh, civil disobedience up to and including arrest. Um, I've been arrested 131 times with the DAP over 31 years, and uh, you know, fighting for the civil and human rights of people with disabilities. And uh, and so proud of each and every one. My last arrest was uh, about a month ago a little over a month ago in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, some of us from Rochester joined the uh, ADAPT folks uh, to protest at Senator Rob Portman's office to get him to vote no on the Better Care Reconciliation Act. And uh, he you know, obviously didn't meet with us and so uh, we were arrested um, and spent a little time in jail. And now we are um, looking at have to return to court um, in, in, in Ohio. Uh, I'm sorry, that's my cat. <laughs> I'm a cat lover and he just, you know, came right in front of me. Uh, please excuse Nemo. <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> And so um, I, I guess uh, rather than me um, rattle and prattle on, um, 
maybe I can answer some questions, um, you know, from folks uh, about about ADAPT and about um, how we organize and all of that. Will that be okay? Yeah. Questions back and forth, probably, but that's great. Does anybody have any questions? I have a question, Anita. How, sure. because we're starting as a grassroots organization, how do people who have little money and little power put their energy behind something the way that ADAPT has so that we can get a movement, a real movement started here in Iowa? around healthcare? Great question. Me? Um, and, and many of us in ADAPT, and certainly when I started in ADAPT, the vast majority of us lived on SSI. Um, many of us still live on a fixed income. Um, and so different chapters, fundraising, you know, is, a big part of it. Different chapters um, did. Oh my goodness! I remember doing bake sales, <laughs> um, selling T-shirts um, in Chicago. We sold buttons. Uh, as a matter of fact, we would we had um, buttons made, and then we'd get permission from various malls and businesses, and we'd set up a little table, and um, with our buttons and with a jar and um, you know, generally the buttons were a dollar, but, you know, people gave, you know, donations and we did that. We did that quite, quite a lot. And as a matter of fact, I remember us having our own button making machine, those cheap old button making machines that we, you know, um, I think that's part of the reason I have carpal tunnel is <laughs> using that dog on button making machine. But I mean, for, for those of us who, who don't have money, that was kind of how we had to, you know, to do it, bake cookies and sell cookies and stuff. Um, and then when we got a little more money, be able to order some t-shirts or different swag and, 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 and sell that. Some of the ADAPT chapters, um, for instance, uh, the original ADAPT chapter in Denver um, was actually, um, our, our radical arm, if you will, of Atlanta's uh, community. And so um, ADAPT was the way that we did a lot of the direct in your face actions, um, you know, while we, you know, did, on, on the other hand, um, did our organ community organizing job. And so um, in, in ADAPT, um, some of the chapters, have affiliations with the local independent living center. And so that's the way that, um, you know, some of the financial support comes from, but from, you know, chapters that don't have that affiliation, it's, it's all about the same kind of grassroots um, fundraising thing. W when I was in Denver um, and we would travel around the country, we didn't have, you know, the money to like fly all over the place via plane, you know, so we convoyed, um, you know, we, those of us that had vans, you know, lift equipped vans or cars or something like that would convoy to different parts, you know, of the state or, you know, around, around the country um, to be able to, you know, get uh, two actions to support people, you know, and all of that. So it's definitely, um, you know, definitely really, really grassroots and you have to take into account people's ability, you know, to, to, to get to places um, and what you can do uh, when you don't, you know, due to disability or whatever, have the wherewithal to get to places. You know, so a lot of phone meetings, a lot of um, uh, petitions and calling people, you know, back in the day when ADAPT was started, we didn't have the internet, <laughs> you know, um, you know, or anything like that. Um, 
And so a lot of our work was done by phone um, when we did actions in order to get the word out. We would collect um, the newspaper articles, if there were any, and send them out. We use snail mail, you know, obviously, um, and, and, you know, had to raise the funds for, for postage, you know, and all of that. These days, it's a little easier because even if you don't have a computer at home, I mean, most libraries have a computer and have a setup where if you need access to something, you know, they have that. And so lots of people can um, organize online um, or via email or various groups. Um, but, you know, back in the day, it definitely was, you know, a, a lot. And that's what people do. And I see a lot of emerging chapters and stuff um, using um, like GoFundMe and other crowd uh, sourcing um, applications to raise money. You know, a lot of people are doing it that that way now and getting it out. It's so much, it's a lot easier these days, you know, to, to do that because you have more options if you have um if you have access to the internet or access you know obviously to a computer and to the internet um a lot it's a lot easier or you um access to some of these um inexpensive conference uh, call uh, software on the phone it's a lot easier these days when you don't have money you know or power to do it but certainly back in the day it was it was a whole lot harder. Anita? Yes. This is Ruth. Thank you so, so much for joining us. And, um, and really driven home, to me at least, that there is absolutely no reason why we can't um, push this here in Iowa and, and start a groundswell across the country so that everybody will have access to uh, health care. So thank you so much, and I'll be in touch with you. Oh, thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.